Hello there and welcome to another Commodore 64 playthrough. This time we're going to play through the very obscure game called C5 Clive. Now I've had trouble trying to actually work out the even the date this was released because I've got some that says 1993, that's some that says 1985. Uh, regardless, I'm probably going to be talking more about the actual C5, which is going down your screen on the right, than the game, because the game is an absolute lemon. So um, you get this screen at the beginning, you set your difficulty level and you get your instructions. Um, I haven't been able to jump at all in a playthrough uh, and I don't know why that is. Maybe it we've missed out the game or not, I don't know. Um, and the other thing is that the controls are absolutely terrible. So the idea is that you, um, you know, I'm going to pick learner driver because that's exactly what I am, um, is that you've got this little car and you're meant to be avoiding these people um, and picking up batteries. It's just, it's nigh on impossible. I mean, I spent 10 minutes trying to get past this first level and I can't. I look, I walked, um, I viewed another walkthrough video and exactly the same thing happened to them. So, and I'm a terrible gamer, but if, if there's somebody else, you know, who can't get, you know, far, you know, <laughs> up and down, left and right, it's a combination of a couple of things. First of all, I think it's extremely precise how you actually get up there to that battery the second thing is is that the controls are really really unresponsive so it doesn't really matter what you do you uh, i've got a high score for doing nothing well done me um it doesn't really matter what you do you uh it just takes an age for it to respond i mean i didn't even do that if you use the joystick as you would normally use a joystick so left right up and down i'm just going to try it here it's just it's it, it doesn't even respond so what i'm having to do is use the joypad and just tap left right up down and it is not making a blind bit of difference. So what was the C5 all about? Well, this was Sir Clive Sinclair, who uh, who ran and um, was responsible for the release of the ZX81 and the Spectrums, which were massive successes. Um, his idea in the sort of mid-80s was to launch what he called an electric car, which was essentially, it was more like a bike with a, with a battery, um, like a milk float battery, the sort of 24-volt battery that was associated with that. Um, and it was uh, an absolute flop. Uh, today, electric cars are all the rage, and bless him, he was, he was just ahead of his time because his ideas were actually what people are doing now. You know, they want to get off fossil fuels and onto electric vehicles, and they want to actually be, you know, good to the environment and everything. The problem he had was uh, just the technology of the time was just not going to able to support what he was wanting to do. So the, because it used essentially a, a milk float battery, it only went 10, 15 miles at a push. It had a lot of issues. So if you went uphill, it overheated. You could pedal as well, which could help support it. And a lot of people ended up pedaling. The other thing was it was absolutely tiny. So if you were actually on real roads, you were sort of so dwarfed by cars and trucks and vans that it was dangerous. You know, people just couldn't even see you because you were so low down. Now, he did try and fix the problems because he, uh, you know, he better batteries. He had a little flag that stuck out. Um, he tried a lot of things, but it was just never going to work. And it just got absolutely mullered in the press. These things were made in a, in a washing machine factory because apparently the, the technologies were very similar. Uh, and bless him, you know, Sir Clive, his, his sort of public persona is this sort of wacky boffin. It's not like today where you've got people like, Elon Musk, who wants to fly to the moon, Mars and stuff like that. You know, these are these are people with some serious backing behind them, and they're 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 known for pushing through their ideas. You got the bloke in charge, Amazon. He wants to do the same, and and so on. And it was just, uh, you know, uh, there was a very Britishness about it as well. You know, the whole idea of, right, I am now going to make it so that you can, you know, you can travel to work and uh, or wherever you want to do in this little sort of electric tricycle. It was just a non-starter. And as like most things, this these have become cults now. You know, there's a whole following and you can get, you can go buy one and get upgraded battery kits and stuff like that. But that's that's what the C5 was all about. And the game, you know, you've just seen me. I just cannot get from one end to the other. How this ever got out of production and into the shops, I do not know. There's another game called C5 Clive for the Spectrum and that's completely different. It's more like sort of kickstart type game where you drive a car and you jump up over objects and, you know, it's a bit, it's like a sort of uh, a scrolls rather than this being set on one level. Because if I don't get the battery, which I'll try not to do, 
<laughs> easier said than done. Um, you lose the level. You know, it's not like you, it's a single screen. It's not like you go, you scroll to the next thing. So it's just, uh, you know, there's not even like, you know, fair. So if I get to the other, you go, I die because I didn't pick up the battery. So it's, uh, you know, it is what it is. It's, you know, the C5 and the whole background behind it, going Wikipedia. It is, it's a great story, but the actual, um, it's a, see if I put expert drivers, see how it works. <laughs> Well, oh dear. Okay, that's a bit. Actually, it's a bit more playable on expert drive. It goes a bit faster. <laughs> um, yeah, have a look on Wikipedia and find out all about it. It's a fascinating story. If you want to know more about the whole sort of um, 80s, 8-bit sort of rivalry, there's an absolutely superb um, sort of... It's not a documentary. It's almost like a recreation called Micro Men that was released by the BBC. And that is absolutely fantastic. And it and it goes through a lot of these things about um, the history of the BBC Micro and the spectrum. Oh, got it! Hey! <laughs> Nearly! Oh, I'm going to another go now. See as I'm doing so well. But it goes through the history of it all. And it has a great cast. It's got lots of familiar faces in it. And um, great score. Loads of 80s tunes that are flying around. Uh, it's an extremely uh, it's an extremely fun uh, thing to watch, and it's probably uh, 172 times more enjoyable than trying to play this game. So so yeah, C5 Clive, hurrah! I'm sure there's somebody out there that can master this and whatever, but uh, I have neither the skill nor the inclination to do that. Um, so if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, and if you've got any questions, I'll try my best to answer them. And don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.